one last thing to look at is that it's not always enough to look at one and only one kind of plot. Sometimes we have to use these plots together to figure out the story behind data. And finding out those stories behind data is really what's exciting, to me at least, about statistics. Here we have Kentucky Derby winners, and we're listing how many horses finished versus their time in seconds to finish the race. Here we clearly have bimodal data. There are quite a lot of horses with a finishing time around 122, 123 seconds, and another collection of horses that finished the race in 160 seconds. So we might wonder, did horses get faster over time? Was there some development in horse medicine or breeding that caused this to happen? So we can take a look at some data over time. Let's first look at the average speed of the horses over time from the 1880s, 1870s really, when the, ho when the race began, uh, until the mid-2000s, we can see that over time, indeed, the average speed of the horses does increase, but it hasn't really changed. The average value has been about the same for around the last 80 years, and there's not really a split here between slow horses and fast horses. There's basically a continuous distribution across that range, so maybe average speed is the not the thing we want to look at. We could look at another variable to see if we can understand this bimodal data, and here we have revealed it. Plotting the time in seconds to complete the race really tells the story of what happened. Looking here in the mid-1890s, if you do a little research on the Kentucky Derby, you can see that the length of the race, the physical length of the race, was dropped from one and a half miles to one and a quarter miles, and notice that this vertical axis doesn't go all the way to zero. So this makes sense that if we drop the length of the race from one and a half miles to one and a quarter, that's about the drop we would expect. So that explains why we have this bimodal data, because these horses are not racing the same race as these horses in the more modern era, they're racing a longer race. Although, uh, the fastest horses still had fairly comparable times looking at this range of speeds. They're all really basically between 34 and 37 miles per hour average speed for the race. So when you're looking at data, take a look at it in a few different ways. We can look at the time series plot, the histogram, and when we have more properties, we'll be able to make more kinds of graphs that tell more about the data and its relationships.